Hello everyone, so today we are going to make this text animation. So first, let's create a composition. HD 1080 25fps duration 9 seconds. Let's rename the composition logo opener. Let's go to the composition. Create a new solid. Let's make it white. Import our logo. Let's take it as a footage. We'll put it in our composition. So let's make the scale to 38. Okay. It's exactly in the center, you see. Right? The keyboard needs to be in the center so that it is easier for you to align the logo. You can always align the logo or any text or any element in After Effects. Let's go to frame 20 and set a key all right now let's come back to the frame number zero and set the scale to maybe 340 all right let's turn on the motion blur okay you can use f4 to toggle between the switches and modes okay if you don't know that how to switch between the uh, between the uh, modes and switches so you, you can press f4 or you can use this toggle mode, this toggle button here. Okay, we have uh, the scale animation on our layer, but now the layer is going very straight, it's very linear animation to the scale layer. Press F9 for easy ease. All right, now select both the keys, go to graph editor. Uh, now you see the I need to edit the speed graph. Okay, let's take the let's make the entry slower then make it a little faster and then the end to be a little bit more slower okay so the animation of the scale will start slow it reach to the peak of the speed and then again when it ends the animation settles down that time it will come as a come in a very come in very slow okay let's play all right so here the you see the difference between the animation of the keys initially it was very linear now you see the difference okay so now we need to make text animation the process that we are going to use is keeping all the text or supers in one composition so i'll show you the process we'll do the animation for brand first let's solo the layer click the arrow go inside and we'll see here there is animate option and there is an arrow so this arrow if you click on this arrow then there are a number of options that appears so these are all the operators you can use to animate the text okay so we are going to use position and opacity operator position and opacity all right i'll show you again i went here i clicked on it i clicked created on i clicked on position Okay, so I, I got animator 1 okay, operator. Now, if you want to add some operator in the same animator, you have to click here, add, okay, opacity. Alright, so the, the next operator will be added to the same animator operator. Okay, if you go and click here, in this animator and create on click, click on opacity what it will do is it will create another animator with that different operator okay so to avoid that please remember that you have to click it is add button add arrow okay to add the operator in the same animator if you go inside in the position you have to click in advance open the advance section go in the position and there are two two axes so this is x-axis and this is y-axis we have to move the text in y-axis let's take it a little bit down okay and opacity to be zero all right let's go and click on let's add a key to offset at zero let's go to frame number 17 or 18 maybe or 19 let's make it 17 and make this 100 okay so the text appear correct so we got the text 
the letters are appearing one by one okay how is this happening i'll explain each letter is traveling certain distance from the bottom okay so that distance is 45 units so that is the reason now let's make this opacity 100 again so that you'll understand this position i have added value of 45 so so if this is the final position of the letter of the of the of, of each letter from here it goes it goes down 45 units okay and then as the animation proceeds it comes to the its original position okay so this is how the animation looks like but we want the animation starting with opacity 0 okay means each letter should have zero opacity at the beginning that is the reason we have added zero value to opacity operator okay if you see the play if you play and see the animation it looks like this now in this what we can do is we can go make the keys easy add a little bit of uh, curve okay you have to go in graph editor using this button you can go here inside this and I like just the curve now wh what does this mean this means that the animation will start and the animation will start fast and it end slow okay it will end slow so let's play and see yes okay it starts fast but it ends slow correct right? there is an option in advance called randomize order okay click on that and you can see the text is appearing in a random fashion now. okay good but the problem here is that the randomness is added to position as well we don't want to have the randomness in position we want the randomness to be they are only in the appearance that means only in the opacity so for that purpose we need to do a separate we need to add a separate animator okay only for the opacity randomness okay we can't do the randomness here in this so we'll turn this thing off all right we come to the text again go to animate add one more opacity operator okay now We'll move this up, go inside the range selector, go in advanced options. We need to copy the same keys as uh, for the offset from the animator one to here. Alright. In this opacity operator, make it zero and turn on the randomize order. And you can give the randomness here. Correct? So here in the animator one, we keep the randomness off. Why? Because the, if you turn on the randomness in randomize order first animator, it will affect both opacity and position as well. Okay, but we only want it to affect the opacity. So for that reason, we have added a separate animator with the opacity operator. We made the value zero for the opacity and added the same animation. Right. Duplicate the text. We need to make a wire text now. Okay. The text should not be opaque. So for that reason, we'll delete this operator. We we'll go back. We go to animator one. Okay. We need to make the. We need to delete the opacity here because in wire text, the wire text is not is not zero. It doesn't have a zero opacity. It is appearing. It's opaque. Okay, it is it has hundred percent opacity as it appears here if you see here so it's it's coming in a very hundred percent opacity so what we do now we delete this opacity we are going to turn off the fill and turn on the edge let's make the thickness three okay the edge layer should not have zero opacity at the beginning so what we are going to do is we are going to delete the animator 1 and go inside the range selector advanced properties delete the opacity operator ok so it has 100% opacity correct perfect 
now let's go here and if you see it has that type of animation okay but now the the text needs to go out of the frame and appear okay it comes inside the frame but from the bottom and goes out of the frame and another text comes in so for that purpose what we are going to do is we are going to animate we are going to link this layer to the wired layer okay because we want both the text to come in and go out we want both the text to come in and go out let's go to position let's put a key now this key needs to be here somewhere Let's move this letter down. Okay. See. You see. Now this text is gonna stay for a while. At this point, uh, let's say it stays for like till frame twenty-four, and it goes out of. comes in goes up comes in goes up let's add the uh, easies to the keyframe soft position so the animation starts slow becomes fast and ends slow okay so the mid of the animation is fast the beginning and ends are slow okay so the animation looks like this after adjusting the graph editor Now the same treatment we need to follow for the development text. We are going to copy the animator from wired text, copy, and paste it over the development. So the text also appears like this. Let's go and check the position and. properties so now let's turn on this both of these layers and let's see how it looks let's make this make the position keys easy and in the graph editor we need to make it like this fast and slow adjustments to the graph Correct. If you if you get a hang of it, if you do this regularly, you will understand how it works. If you are just starting out and don't know how this graph editor works, if you are if you are animating, if you're not if you are never animated anything in 3D or 2D, uh, it will take a little time for you, but you will understand this slowly and gradually. Correct. Okay. So now the development is going earlier. Okay, it's it's traveling earlier than the brand text. So for that purpose, what you need to do is you will have to adjust or delay the animation on the development. Well, let's delay it by certain frames. Okay, correct. And okay, now here we need to delay this timing a little bit. Okay, let me get further. It is yeah, it needs to go more out. We are going to see the text. Yeah. Correct. The text animation on development is looking like a typewriter thing. So we need to edit that. For that purpose, what we are going to do is let's go in the animator. Let's go to advanced properties. Okay, here the shape of the animator here is Cape Town Square. We're going to make it a ramp up. Okay. So after doing ramp up, what we need to make we need to make certain changes. The range selector offset 
we have to make the value here minus 100 and here 100 so see now there is a difference correct let's come here and import our low our text corp okay so let's rename the composition texts and make a text okay let's import we need to position it here So now what needs to happen here, our logo settles in the center and just before the text comes, this logo needs to move to the left. Let's press U to see which operator we have the keys. If you want to see the position operator as well here, let's go and press Shift and P. Okay, so the position operator will also be visible along with the scale. All right. So now let's put a key on the frame frame number 20 here okay and from here this logo should move to the left let's go to frame number 36 move the logo to the left okay let's see it's easy is the keys and adjust the graph so let's turn on the animated text layer again and let's position it okay so just before it starts moving the text needs to appear correct okay. let's go to the video again so we will add different different texts here strategy and identity social media marketing, advertising campaigns, content creation and more ok so for that let's go and add different texts let's see how it looks in the main comp so in the next part of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the RGB compositions this logo opener comp let's put it in another composition okay and rename this logo opener rgb comp duplicate this layer three times we need to add effect called shift channels from the three layers we are going to pick three channels like red green and blue okay so on this in the shift channels take red from red and let's make it full off okay copy the effect go here copy in the second layer again let's make red full off and the green take green from green okay select green again copy paste here all right let's make it full off and make this blue all right now if you see so we have the blue we have the green and we have the red now what we need to do is we need to select the top layers top two layers and make them screen mode all right so now we don't see anything here all right but if you move the position of layers see we started getting the effect to animate them we need to add an expression to it okay so we're going to use wiggle expression select this let's go to position alt click on this key layer on the time stop layer and here we have to define a variable let's say we define a variable a equal to expression wiggle so in wiggle we're going to put let's say 5 comma 10 maybe so 5 is your frequency 10 is your amplitude we only want to move the text and overall framing in x direction okay so just to move the framing in x direction because if you just add this expression wiggle okay so what it's gonna do is it's gonna move 
in both axes. See, it's going up, it's going down as well. I'll show you things up. See, it's going up, it's going down. So to avoid the movement in both of the axes, we are going to define a variable that is a is equal to this expression in square brackets we have to define the x value because we want to we want the movement only in x so what we are going to do is we are going to put this variable in x so a bracket square bracket 0 comma we are going to define a static value in y value Right, close. So now, if you see, this this layer is only going to move in x direction. It's not going to move in y direction. Let's copy this now and put it on the positions of each layer. All right. Okay. So we got the RGB. But now this RGB should not always be visible. It should be visible sometime. Going to check the opacities. Like wherever we want, we can just turn on the opacity. Like suppose if we want this to be on here. Okay, let it be on for some time. And again, it will, it will turn off. Okay. Right? So it's it will, it's visible, and it goes off. So we have completed the RGB section. Now I'm going to show you how to add glitch effect to the composition it is yeah create a new composition let's name it noise make it HD 24 FPS let's take a new solid we are going to add effect called fractal noise this one let's make this blocky it will increase the value in contrast okay reduce the value in the brightness you have to turn off the uniform scaling increase the scaling in the width okay so that it looks like it is stretched reduce the complexity to maybe 2.5 let's add the expression to random seed time into maybe 10 right so this is your noise comp let's go to logo now import this noise comp here okay we need to bring the adjustment layer this is a displacement map okay in this point we have to put displacement map layer to noise okay so we started getting that effect see yeah. horizontal displacement we can increase it more if you see that after adding the displacement we have started having the empty section here in the margin okay because our components of the composition are being scaled because of the displacement map and moved so to adjust this we have to put motion time so we have to put this above 140 one point output height and output width all right so see so after adding motion tile we managed to fill that empty section of the composition crop the adjustment layer and duplicate it at certain section so this is how it looks okay so you can you can try this type of effect in your text your intros your logo animations and it is going to definitely look nice so after the render our video looks like this
please do comment and let me know if this helped you in your project. I'll keep making such tutorials in future. See you next time.